right, guys, this is the first day of 2018. Been a long time coming. We got a challenge lock here. And in fact, we got two new things. We got this challenge lock from Thor uh, out in Montana. We'll take a little bit closer look at this oddity in just a moment. There's also, as some of you have already discovered, a new section on the website. And it's called Personal Preparedness. Last year, we were caught kind of flat footed by uh, Harvey and Irma, the two hurricanes that struck the southern part of the United States. And more, more importantly, um, and more severely, uh, parts of Port or all of Puerto Rico, and they're still suffering from the effects of that. So I put together a complete new section on the website. So maybe next time we won't be caught uh, quite so flat-footed. It's called Personal Preparedness. I've been working on it uh, well ever since Harvey, uh, Harvey, and Irma struck. Anyway, take a look. Uh, you can prepare yourself and your family for the potentially the next big disaster. Uh, speaking of disasters, let's take a look at Thor's lock. This thing is not, well, we have the sealed key, obviously. And I hope we don't need that, but we might because there's some real weird stuff about this. First of all, it's all housed in this plastic container. And there's something cut right there in the top. I have no idea what that is. And then he says he drilled out the top of it to prevent me from using top of the keyway. Thanks a lot, though. I appreciate that. That's my favorite placed attention he also says and he's reinforced it with a little engraved arrow there uh, only pick this one in the clockwise direction otherwise there could be some trouble that's my interpretation of all the threats in the letter that he sent anyway let's go ahead and try to circumvent some of this he calls this the cry bosnian bill lock i think it's bb this he said there's a bb in here but i think that is really designed to make me cry and it might it might let's clamp it up and see if we can't uh, discourage thor on his effort here all right guys we still have this thing still sealed haven't opened it up but in looking at this i think i'm going to use some old age and treachery to try to circumvent thor's efforts to thwart me i think i can use top of the keyway using this little serrated guy from peterson and i believe that will give us the tension that we need there. Uh, the the thing I'm looking at though, let me grab a pick here real quick. Pretty wide keyway, but this little piece of warding right here is going to prevent me from probably from reaching up into the rest of that lock. I'm probably going to have to pick from this ledge. Well, of course we got this little ski slope here. So if I just try to use top of the keyway and pick from there, that little ski slope is going to throw me down into the gutter. So what I'm going to do, part of that treachery, let me grab this tensioner here. I'm going to try to just slide this guy right there, maybe from this side. Yeah, I'm just going to hang him right there. And that way he fills the gutter and it kind of acts like a little guard to hold my pick and keep it aligned with those pins on the top. Let's try it. That's my theory. Get in there. There we go. All right, it looks funny, I got it, but let's see if we can't make this work. All right, light tension. Okay, that was felt like pin four, somewhere back there. Got a little click. Okay, three feels like it's all the way down. I'm getting a little counter rotation right there. It feels like on two. A little crunching, and I don't think it got it. Let's try it again. Can't quite get on him. Get on there. That must be the ball bearing he promised. The pick keeps sliding off of him. Okay, we got him partially set, but... There's three still down. Okay, I don't think two set. I'm still getting counter rotation on him. Come on. That really didn't feel like it got me anything. Let's try him again. Yep, still two. It's like it goes all the way up. I have no fault set. But then he stops giving me feedback. Okay, that was four again. Arg. Well, Thor's plan might have worked after all. 
That's pin one, counter rotation on one. Okay, that was two. And we do have a fault set working. And there we go. All right. He did say, let me get all this junk out of here. He did say when we turn it, somehow or another, well, we're stuck now. Somehow or another, that uh, steel rod in the top will release, and then with a tap, he says it should come out. Let's just, let's do it right here. Well, let's use my beater block. That's what that thing's made for, Bill. Not to stand my camera on. There we go. Okay, I'm going to set the lock here. There seems to be a note in here. I don't know what that was for there. That's just a steel pin. It doesn't retract or anything. Let me read this off camera just in case. Ah, congratulations, you picked it. Or use the stinking key. I haven't used the stinking key yet. I still got that dude right here. Let's see. Um, uh, when gutting, be careful. The chambers one and four. One is a small BB and four contains a T-pin and master wafer. Four is a false trap pin. Let's find it. Let's take a look at it. Let's move all this junk out of the way. There's the key. We are going to need that. Move the housing out of the way. Put that right here. Let's go ahead and bust open the key and take a look at him. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody went a little crazy with a file over the holidays. All right, you wouldn't think that that would work. Um, let's turn him back. All right, so what we got, and apparently the pins on the top have stuck down into the chamber. I'm going to take this pick, put them in upside down, and try to... Ah! Let's try that again. It is 12 degrees here in on the East Coast today, and it's about 28 here in the workshop. So the batteries are kind of sensitive to temperature. All right, let's get back to what we're talking about. I'm going to try to take this guy and put my picket upside down and push those pins up, and then maybe, whoop, maybe we can rotate that back to where we can then use the key again. Because I believe those drivers. Come on. Maybe. All right, let's try to turn it back the way it came then. Maybe it only turns half a rotation. Come on. I should have known better than to rotate him into that position. Okay. All right, let's try the rake. See if we can rake him back up in there. Or not. All right, I see two really sharp things sticking up into the keyway. Looks to be around pin number two and pin number four. I'm guessing that's just a little bit difficult to see in there with a flashlight, but... Nothing is working out here today. Not even my flashlight. That's how cold it is, fellas. All 
All right, all the pins are out of the way, so apparently I have to unroll this thing. I have to uh, rotate it in the same way that I picked it. These are nice to know little lessons, huh? There we go. Man, that was harder than picking the darn thing. All right, let's uh, let's see if this key even works. Beautiful, it works beautifully. All right, so this, he had the actuator on upside down. And when I picked it, I rotated it up. And there's a cutout in the bottom right there. So it probably goes all the way through here. So the actuator was holding it inside of here. It wasn't that pin at all. It was the actuator on the back of here. All right, so it is working. Let's go ahead and take that tailpiece off. Pretty innovative, gotta give him credit. Get it? Yeah, that I got it. Okay, it's taking a while. I got it. Look, okay, we have some pretty rustic-looking grooves there. Um, I think he cut those with a piece of sandstone he found on the beach, but it worked. So you can't argue with success. All right, we have a. Um, One serration in the top of that key pin. Number two is a standard. Three is a very weird looking, well, we'll look at them in a minute. Let's get these dudes out without hurting myself. Okay, let's see if we can find a flashlight that actually works in here before my fingers start shaking. All right, we do have some undercuts on Chamber number five. I think that's just a byproduct of filing it, a rough filing on chamber four. I don't think that's an undercut. Looks like number five though. It's got threads and undercuts. And then we got these little cross cuts. I don't know what those are for. We'll find out in a minute. Let's pull everything out of the top and then we'll look close at the pinning. All right, nice spring, nice big spring, and a ball bearing. That was not expected. All right, number two. I'm going to go a little slower now, just in case. All right, what do we got? It is a T-pin, but he was upside down. He was with the narrow part down into the spring, so he was like that. And that spring... Ugh, I'm really messing this one up. I don't know where he launched to. He's on the bench here somewhere. It is cold. Sorry, guys. I hesitated even to come out here today. All right, we have a standard. It is a key pin, but the pointy end was towards the spring. And we have a baby spring, number three. By the way, number two is just like the one in number one. All right, let's flip it around, and let's go from the back here. Got me gun shy now. Okay, that is a very long key pin with a serration cut in him. He was in there like that. And another long spring. And the last one, before I run in the house and heat myself up. All right, we do the T pin with a wafer. Little serrations on it. I don't know the purpose of the wafer. Can't begin to guess, but that, uh, he was above near the spring. He was like that. And then the spring obviously goes on that side. All right, let's take a quick look in here before I run in the house and submerge myself in a tub of hot water to stop shivering. All right, I see nothing in here. There's no, I don't see any threads or any cutting, anything like that. I'm gonna, just out of curiosity though, I'm wondering about all this tape. 
Wonder why we have it here. I don't know. It might have just been. It might have been like a sleeve, so it fits a little tighter in here. I'm, that's all I'm guessing. Um, the top of this is a little bit mangled, but I don't think it has anything to do with picking. There's no threads or anything going in from the top. Anyway, there you go. Thor, I appreciate you sending in the cry Bosnia bill. I'm crying about the sloppy job I did taking apart and losing that spring. But there you go, Thor. appreciate it. All the way from Montana. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal, and in the spirit of staying safe, take a look at the new part of the website. The disaster preparedness might help you get ready for the next disaster and save yourself some pain. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.